Uh, thank you. <laughs> Um, it feels pretty good, you know, especially because not so many people submitted him, you know, that this last one was a uh, uh, poor year, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that and uh, we put a lot of work and effort and now we see the, the glory of, of, of all, work, all work we did. Yeah, sort of, you know, Anthony's been willing to give up that back to position before, but usually he likes to spin over and, you know, try to get competition. Is that something that you felt like if you were able to get there, you'd be able to put away? Yeah, uh, I was looking for that, that escape he does a lot, you know, and uh, I tried timing a little bit more for the mount or to try escape. That's what I did. As soon as I felt he, he escaped off the, the technique he does a lot, I tried just stand up and try do the same thing again, try go to the ground to get the submission. Lastly, for me, uh, maybe as just the end of the BMF belt in this next fight, you just submitted them, and yeah. what happens now for you? Uh, we well, you know, like right now, I just gotta focus on to, to get back to the gym, you know, and get better. And I think I have to work in like a little details of my, my stand up. And I gotta talk to my coach and, and see what's gonna be the next step. This is a big day for you, obviously, not just a win and stuff, but it's a different pain. So, like, how did that feel going into the week as well with kind of all the excitement after the win and the birthday and this and celebrating? It's a lot of pressure, you know. Uh, I felt a little bit of pressure because it's my, it's my birthday. I'm fighting Vegas. There's a big car, you know, and uh, all my family's here now. Now, after all the, the win, I feel much better. I feel happy, and then you know, take a take a big way off my off my back, and then I'm happy, and you know, I can't wait to enjoy my birthday now. Enjoy Vegas. Not really, you know, I. I in my social media, I have a lot of people like still coming, like, like you know, bad stuff, you know, saying like, uh, who, who's that guy? Who's this? He's still, you know, like, I, I know I'm I'm not the top guy yet, you know, I need to make my name up, uh, but I want to show it this, and I, I think I show a little bit, but uh, I, probably in the next fight, I probably, because people got to know me more. Diego, speaking about that, how did you feel as far as being nervous with the pressure of people saying this is the most famous guy I feel nervous because I always feel nervous to fight, but uh, uh, I always taking this like a more pressure to train more, get better, you know, enjoy my, my, my career. And to fight somebody like that, you just have to, you know, train as much as they can and, you know, and enjoy your career. That's what I did. So how did he feel in there as far as strength or speed? Was he more fast or less fast? More strong, less strong. He, he felt pretty strong and then I get it fast, you know. He tried to move away like uh, so fast I couldn't catch some uh, his movement. And he caught me like a couple of times over the top of the head and, and I could I could uh, duck under but uh, uh, after I got a clinch and, and you know I felt a little bit more strong in the hand. Last question. Between rounds, what advice did you get from the coach to say so? He's always the the first uh, advice that the beginning of the camp, you know. Go there couple punch and go for the takedown and we, uh, that's what I did the whole time. Were you surprised at how quickly he tapped because you got to you basically just have to get him down, put him a squeeze and you know, he tapped. I was, uh, I was impressed because I was squeezing really hard, you know, like I put a lot of pressure, especially like after he tried escaping. Uh, I knew he going to try escape with, uh, with the same escape he does in a lot of his fights. If somebody got his back, he tried turning his hips out and, and uh, try to get up. But this time now, I try like I knew he gonna try to come out, and I just roll my hand in, like right onto his throat, and I squeeze as as hard as I can, and I knew he gonna tap fast. Diego, uh, your son has become a bit of a star of the weigh-ins. I mean, does he come to all the fights, and does he, you let, let him watch you fight? Yeah, I let him fight. Like he always with me, always around me. Especially right now, he's three years old. Uh, next year, he's already gonna be on uh, on on school. And uh, I don't know what I gotta do if I gotta still think I gotta take him, but he's always been with me from the, from you know, from the one years old watching me fighting, and then after my uh, suspension, that's when he started coming more with me, and then I enjoy having him give me a lot of strength, give me a lot of love, and 
I got a little bit of some time like better with him because you know the week of the the, the wake out is kind of hard but I, I can I can't be out of hand no more it's is with me 24 hours of the week or like you know it's I enjoy to be with him uh, I really don't know I don't even look for that but, but uh you know I wish people like know me more like hey like that's our danger fire but still you know we don't have to prove nothing to nobody and uh, i gotta just do my work and then you know my coach is out, out there for me and i gotta keep doing my work no i was kind of do that because i knew he gonna try like a kick my cap or kick my leg or my knee I tried just to avoid that, you know, and uh, I knew his karate is roof, like he's, he's fast on his kicks, and I don't, don't try, like, now I'm gonna take a kick, you know, just to see if he hurt. I gotta try to avoid, and that's what I try to avoid, like, try to pick up my leg, try to get in the clinch, and try to get my punch out, and to get more uh, engaged with him. So you, I assume you spent a lot of time training that, this, for this camp, that kind of, or is it something you just. No, I just did it right now. <laughs> I just did it right now. I just like, a, you're not gonna kick, bro. You're not gonna kick. No, I just did it right now. <laughs> uh, but with such a tough, tough opponent, that to me looked like probably the most dominant uh, showing that we've seen for you. Does it feel like everything's just clicking at a different level for you now? And maybe what's the secret to your recent success? It, it is like uh, my secret is because I have a great coach, you know, like. Uh, you know, my coach Safe, my coach Abram and coach uh, Rick and and, um, and sub Texas, they helping me a lot too. You know, like it's it, I, besides like how I, I told some of the guys like before when I got to UFC, I was just a Jiu Jitsu fighter. Now I know I'm an MMA fighter. You know, because like, when I got here, now my level is going just growing and and I put a lot of effort and learning a lot of more uh, skills and techniques. And I enjoy like the whole this whole time, and I just want to get better and better. A lot of times people say it's the mental side. Do you feel like now mentally you believe that you should be here? I think, yeah, I think I believe more because my coach is with me, and I couldn't do this if you know have if I don't have him with me. Coach, if it's like the last time I saw, like he's he's not just there just to give me the coordination to 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 win the fight, but like put there say, hey, you you born to do this, you born to the uh, this kind of fight and and I believe it it's mentally like in in, in spirit and I I can't say something more like it he, he believed in me and then I believe in him and I'm doing you know I'm doing great Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.